Mr. Gary Pio, showing you a copy of the statement that you provided. What is that? This is a statement that I took from uh, from Charles Pittman, known as Charlie Pittman. It's how he uh, put it on the paper uh, at the hospital. And how many pages long is that statement? This, page, this is four pages long. And did he sign each page of that statement? Yes, sir, he did. And did he adopt that statement as his? Yes, sir, he did. And when did you take this statement? I took this statement uh, on the, the 12th that morning at 10.10. Where did you take it at? At the Jackson uh, Madison County Hospital Emergency Room. Who all took the hospital? That, at that time, it was just Charlie and Olivia's parents. And this is a couple of hours after the Correct. I was at the scene at 8.15, and this is at 10.10. Let's hear a few of you please read that statement. Yes, sir. Uh, Olivia and I have been dating, and we're planning to get married in August. We are both students at Union University. I'm a Christian ministry, Ministries and Missions major. She was a uh, music education major. About a month ago, she failed her praxis exam. That means she would have to postpone graduation for one semester. She felt like all the other students were better than her because she was graduating late. About five days ago, she said, quote, I wish I could drive away and end my life where nobody could find me, end quote. Yesterday, we both had morning classes. I didn't go to my class because I wanted to be at her apartment when she got back from class. I was worried about her because she was so sad. She came back to her apartment after class. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings for lunch. She was uh, really reserved. She just sat and didn't talk a lot. We went back to class, and I went, she went back to class, and I went back to my apartment to play video games. She came to my apartment before her morning class, and that's when I realized something was wrong with her. After 4 p.m., I went to her apartment and she was already there. We watched Tower Heist. I specifically chose a comedy to get her in a better mood. She laughed during the movie. I told her it was good to see her laugh. She got teary-eyed and kissed my cheek. She said she really missed me this last weekend. The way she was acting made me worry. After the movie, she went to her room and got a wad of cash. There was a $100 bill wrapped around the outside. I don't know how much was underneath. I asked her why she got the money, and she said that we could buy groceries after we ate supper. We got in her car, and she drove to Quiznos on Van Drive. She was quiet during the meal. She started crying while we were walking out of the restaurant. She kept saying, quote, I don't know why you love me. I'm a bad fiance and a bad daughter. I tried to reassure, reassure her. I told her that we were getting married, and we should talk about whatever was bothering her. She cried all the way back to her, her apartment. She told me earlier in the day that she had plans with Lisa. She works with Lisa at Longhorn. About 7.15, she dropped me off at my truck, which was parked at her apartment. She drove away. She pulled out kind of quickly. It seemed weird for her. I got in my truck and went to look for her. I tried to call and apologize to her. I didn't want her to think I was yelling at her. I interrupted her while she was crying and told her, this is not you. I guess I said it kind of strongly. I wasn't mad at her, and I didn't want her to think I was. I went back to her apartment. First, I went to my apartment and changed. Then I went to her apartment. I was with Rebecca and Ryan. I got there about 7.30 or 7.45. About 9 o'clock, Ryan and I got in my truck and went looking for her. We went to places I thought she might be. I went to Longhorn, where she works. Lisa was working. Lisa told me that she hadn't talked to Olivia since Saturday night. That's when I called Olivia's parents. They came to her apartment. We all stayed at Olivia's apartment until about 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Then her parents uh, went out looking for her. I have three roommates. One of them is named Josh, Josh Cox. He has a carry permit. He owns a SIG 9mm. He keeps it in his room. A couple of days ago, she came to my apartment. We were watching Netflix. We both got up at the same time to go to the bathroom. There are two bathrooms in my apartment. She started going to the one in Josh's room. I told her she could use mine, but she said she would just use his. She went into Josh's room. That's when she could have gotten the gun. 